Criticade! Welcome. Hello. Welcome to Criticade. We're on the Pokemon Battle section. Yeah. Dream Daddy. Yes. Yes, we are. Ready? No. Okay. <laughs> Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy! <laughs> Man, this is potty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. Okay, well, that's not that bad. We're, we're tied. Uh, should we change daughters? <laughs> we can do it then. Or no, because it might make you take It damage. might make me, yeah. Uh, we have other items. Do you want to try? Oh, uh, what are they? The grade card and the band-aid. No, because she's, she's much smarter. That's true. Maybe back? the band-aid? Well, I don't know what the band-aid does. Band okay. I don't think I can go back either. Okay. Ah, shit, shit, shit. <clears throat> With a flourish, you produce a band-aid from your pocket. Take a knee and start to apply it to Amanda's arm. What are you doing, Dad? <laughs> Being a protective parent! <laughs> Anyone would agree. Ugh. It is an unusual gesture. You lose yeah. 10 health. Shit. <laughs> Daisy here has all of her adult teeth. Never had a cavity either. Amanda self-consciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. No! Oh, fuck. We're gonna fucking lose. Oh, just, use, just use the grade card. The grade card? Yep. Do it! You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your back pocket. Dad. Awesome grades! Brian loses 25 HP. You really carry that around everywhere? Oh, shit. <laughs> Words aren't all Daisy's good at, by the way. Her math is amazing. One time I actually called her to double check my numbers before I made a cut for a support beam. <laughs> Doesn't that say more about him than it does about Daisy? Still. Dang, he got us beat. Shit. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Ah, did he have to add insult to injury by being such a <laughs> gracious winner? God. Fuck you. <laughs> that was cute. So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. We just moved in. Do you live around here? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. <clears throat> it's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this oh guy God. have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Yeah. Well, I don't want to take any more of your time up. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxel, Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. Do you get the feeling that he has a bigger dick than me? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Eating your farts. That's why I didn't say anything. Damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. You mean I was a brony? <laughs> well, it's a shame that it didn't pan out. I could have made a made bank with art. <laughs> <laughs> it's too. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Fan what? fiction. <gasps> My Little Pony fan <gasps> fiction. Oh yeah, she could Makes totally do that. Yeah. <sighs> too close to the truth, Dad. <laughs> she actually has stacks of My Little Pony fan fiction. <laughs> Rarity for fake tits. <laughs> Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts, by Amanda Sledgem. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh off the horse epic and walk around the part a bit more, enjoying the day. I didn't realize we're condemning Amanda to a life where her last name is Sledgem. How much shit is she going to get in high school? <laughs> She's almost done. She seems, she seems like she has enough friends that no one ever tells her no. That's... <laughs> So she just kind of does and says whatever she wants at all times. Sure. Oh, this sunlight is making me real tired. I don't think I got enough sleep last night. You slept for 14 hours. Not fucking enough! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's never too early to invest in a personal IRA. <laughs> As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Deep! Bro! Dude! Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Oh, it's that uh, sexy man. Yeah. <laughs> I turn around and, and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Hmm. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Oh. Holy wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. Hmm? It's been 
been too long, Dad. <laughs> yeah, wow, you look great. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I cleaned up my act. <laughs> cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. <laughs> Hello! Hello, cute baby! Hmm. Oh, thank you! Last time I saw you, I think you were about her size! This is River! Say hi, River! Hello. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. <laughs> Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude! River's my kid! Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Hmm. I was working out in California, and I just recently <laughs> really bad. I'm the scat man. <laughs> <laughs> what if the scat man was sexy? That's my, oh, that's my age. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashly doing? Smashly? Oh. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. Oh, he's, Ooh, he's that's... Creepy. Oh, I don't know. She actually still goes by Smashley. What? <laughs> uh, and, uh, we got... Oh, uh, we got divorced last year. Ooh. Sounds like her name should be Cheater. What? You, you don't know oh, that. Oh, dude. I'm so sorry. Oh, come on. Her name was Smashley and they got divorced and she's not cheating on him? Maybe he's cheating. He is ripped. Mm -hmm. That's possible. It's old news. We take care of taking care. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. I'm brain dead. <laughs> twins, you have three kids. Hmm. Life something, bro. Right? Keg stand Craig is a father of three. Hmm? Keg stand Craig. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that was uh, that's my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. No shit, Dad. Fuck oh. you, you little piece of shit. Whoa, whoa, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and, and then you drink from the keg. Hmm. Right. <laughs> he was very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bro, I, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I gotta really keep up my heart rate. <laughs> Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. Sure, okay. You jog daily, I jog yearly. Yeah, dude, I can tell, don't worry. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> On January 1st, when I promise myself that I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Oh. <laughs> well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> I don't know. Nice. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We do a little, little bro brunch, like like the good old days. All nice. right, sure. Sounds great. <laughs> great. Let's get going soon. I gotta get moving. What the fuck? Why am I doing an accent now? <laughs> good to see you guys. Help. <laughs> Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. Dad, is oh, he man. turning Australian? <laughs> Ah, good old Craig, always turning Australian. <laughs> I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. I have completely forgotten the voice that I was recording. <laughs> Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for every, any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara Marijuana. sauce for dinner. <laughs> Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce. And then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing, and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. We gotta do, we gotta do an impression <laughs> in, in Keith's voice. Okay. <laughs> it's basically a smoothie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, technically he's not wrong. Yes, he is. He jogs. He was jogging. Hmm. He's like a totally different person. I don't even want to suck his dick now. Anyway, we, we better get home. <laughs> I mean, we, lived together. we did it all the time. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. How do you think you were born, Amanda? <laughs> <laughs> you were a gay butt baby. <laughs> Amanda and I flop down onto the couch together. Amanda has to what? shove some, <laughs> some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Oh. You can't throw in those implications. <laughs> See, Pepper, we're going to be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. 
Mm. I'm gonna die. <laughs> it's terminal. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> it's just you're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. <laughs> I mean, you can always come visit me. You can tell me stories. I'll always there to be listening, but I can't talk, obviously. I mean, I'm obviously I'm a photography major. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Yes. A dog? <laughs> Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around his neck. I get to name it. Wow. <laughs> That's what it'll cost me for to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> 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 Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. From Hogwarts! Speaking of college, <laughs> Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. Alright! This is from McGowan College of Art and Design! Open it! Ooh. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. But Keith, <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, it's just. It's like my, my entire future, not a big deal. Hmm. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. She just eats it whole. <laughs> <laughs> we have a letter opener, but okay. Hmm. I held my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. And if you want to know what the letter <laughs> says, you're going to have to donate to Criticate and subscribe! What does so it say? Subscribe! Fucking subscribe! Oh! <laughs>